Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Ishan Kapoor and I'm a tech evangelist with Riverbed. And in this video, I'll be showcasing how you can use AppResponse 11's Web Transaction Analyzer to look for log4j attacks or scans that may be happening in your network. So let's begin. We are here now in the application configuration screen for AppResponse 11. And this is also the first step that you'll have to do to begin scanning or attempting to look for scans and attacks that are happening in your network. Uh, I've gone in and defined a log4shell for for vulnerability as an application. Let me just have a look at what has been defined so far. So in AppResponse 11, um, you are allowed to look for certain strings in the HTTP request body in the URL or in the HTTP request header. That's exactly what we've done here, is we've looked for this particular regex and see if AppResponse can match it in the HTTP request body URL or header. And once it does, uh, AppResponse will tag that, that particular request as a data point for the log4j vulnerability application inside AppResponse. That's it. Once you've done this, you can go to either the web app navigator view, or you can go to any of the insights where you examine the uh, data points for various web applications. I'm gonna choose the navigator view in this case. And you can see that in a few clicks uh, under the log for shell vulnerability applications, I can see the IPs and if there are more scanners that were to show up, they will all show up right in this list. And you can then also look for the time, you can also look at the time series and in when these attacks were happening. As we can see that there's maybe a 10, 15 minute um, um, repeat occurrence of some of these scans. And that's how simple and straightforward it was to look and examine any threats, any attacks that are happening for log4j in your network. So thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.